What if I tell you, you can access high speed internet connection in the middle of the Amazon rainforest? Well, I might sound crazy, but it's actually possible. And the reason behind this is Starlink. A satellite internet constellation covering more than 60 countries all over the globe and supplying internet connection to some of the remotest areas. Project that took about $10 billion to design, build and deploy and which is estimated to have a revenue of around $50 billion by 2023. Starlink provides satellite-based internet connectivity to undeserved areas of this planet as well as competitively priced service in more urbanized areas. Now, you might wonder how this is even possible. Well, it is possible because it's... Luma. Uh. In this video, we will be having a deep dive into this revolutionary project that is changing the way we connect to internet worldwide. We will explore the inception, development, challenges and impact of Elon Musk's Starlink project which could possibly be the future of internet. That's what's happening. To truly understand Starlink, we have to go back to its beginning. Constellation of the Low Earth Orbit Satellites were first conceptualized in the mid-1980s as a part of the Strategic Defense Initiative, which was a proposed missile defense system intended to protect the United States from the attacks by the ballistic strategic nuclear weapons. Now, what is this Low Earth Orbit? Low Earth Orbit is an orbit around the Earth where most of the artificial satellites are present. It has an altitude not more than one-third of the total radius of the Earth which is roughly 2,100 kilometers from the sea level. In 2015, SpaceX visionary CEO Elon Musk laid out his ambitious goal to provide high-speed internet connection through a constellation of low-Earth orbit satellites. Musk envisioned a network that could bridge the digital divide and unite communities worldwide. In 2016, SpaceX confirmed this connection with the application to license Starlink with the Federal Communications Commission. The heart of Starlink lies in the satellite constellations. Currently numbering in thousands, these small satellites operate in the low Earth orbit, communicating with user terminals on the ground. The satellites work in tandem, forming a web of connectivity that allows high-speed, low-latency internet access. In March 2018, the FCC approved SpaceX for its first 4,425 satellites with some conditions. One of which was SpaceX would need to obtain a separate approval from the Internet Telecommunication Union. SpaceX estimated the total amount of the development build out of the constellation to be about $10 billion. In November 2018, SpaceX received the US regulatory approval to deploy 7,518 V-band broadband satellites. This was in addition to the 4,425 satellites approved earlier. After launching two test satellites in February 2018, first batch of 60 Starlink operational satellites were launched in May 2019. Deployment of Starlink Constellation involved a series of rocket launches with the SpaceX Falcon 9 rockets carrying multiple satellites to the orbit in each launch. In total, about 12,000 satellites were needed to be deployed by 2019. On 15 October 2019, the US FCC submitted filings to the ITU on SpaceX behalf to arrange spectrum for additional 30,000 Starlink satellites. In the same month, Elon Musk publicly tested the Starlink network and informed the world through his tweet. In November 2020, Starlink beta internet services were opened to the public. Starlink provides internet with very low latency, as low as 20 milliseconds. The DISHI sends and receives internet data, but how does this happen? To access Starlink network, one needs to install a Starlink dish, which is called DISHI Mac Flatface, in short, DISHI. As I told earlier that there are tens of thousands of Starlink satellites 
orbiting the Earth in the low Earth orbit in an extremely high speed of about 27,000 km per hour. Single DC has about 1,280 antennas arranged in a hexagonal honeycomb structure. They work together in an array which is called the phased array in order to send and receive electromagnetic waves to and from a Starlink satellite. A single DC has an action radius of around 100 degrees. And whenever a Starlink satellite comes within that radius, internet data transfer starts at about a speed of 100 megabits per second. The DC changes connection with the satellite every 4 minutes, after which the satellite moves out of the DC's field of view. Simultaneously, a different satellite enter the radius and data transfers occurs continuously. A Starlink satellite has four phased array antennas, two of which is used for communicating to the multiple dishes within the range and the other two communicates with the ground station. Phased array can be used for multiple purposes like internet, military radar, weather detection and even allows mid-flight internet in flights. As of now, Starlink services are available in around 62 countries. You can check out the list of countries in the Availability and Regulatory Approval section of the Starlink Wikipedia page. As of internet connection, Starlink is really mind-blowing. But it has some great impact on astronomy. Several astronomical institutions such as the International Astronomical Union, National Radio Astronomy Observatory, and Square Kilometer Array Organization have released official statements expressing concerns over light pollution due to the large number of satellites. Astronomers claim that the number of visible satellites could increase in number than the number of visible stars and that their brightness in both radio and optical wavelengths could severely impact scientific observations. Also, the large number of satellites deployed by Starlink create a long-term danger of space debris triggering a phenomenon which is known as the Kessler Syndrome, which is a scenario in which the density of object in the low Earth orbit increases drastically. SpaceX said that most of the satellites are launched at low altitudes, and the failed satellites are expected to deorbit within five years without causing any kind of danger. Looking ahead, Starlink's future seems promising. The project aims to increase its coverage, reduce its latency, and increase its speed as the internet constellation continues to grow. And there you have it folks, a comprehensive case study of Starlink. Elon Musk's ambitious venture provides global internet connectivity through a constellation of low Earth orbit satellites. From its inception to its ongoing expansion, Starlink is rewriting the rules of connectivity and bringing the world together. As always, if you found the video informative, please do give it a like and comment down what you like the most or dislike any part of the video. Subscribe to this channel if you are new here because we keep uploading such informative videos. Until next time, it's me Ali Abbas signing off.